Okay, let's see if this works. He's supposed to jump up, and then he drops his tail down. So, Trico, jump up, please. There he goes. He's all bloody. He's hurt. I'm gonna pet him. It's okay, Chico. I got stuck here. Is that what you decided to do? Good thing you told me, otherwise I wouldn't have known. reading them and being like, that's dumb. Don't, why would I want to talk about that? But I gotta talk about something. Oh. Uh oh. That's not good. Can I pick it up? dumb note about Game of Thrones. Um, I guess just about making TV shows in general, it, it's hard. I mean, Game of Thrones was eight season long, so I think it's just, I think it's almost impossible to make a show that long and have everybody like every season. I don't know that, if that's ever happened. Also, people online were saying, like, oh, Breaking Bad had, like, a perfect ending. Um, but I, I, I like Breaking Bad, but um, it's a much simpler show. There's, like, four main characters. So it seems like it's a little easier to make a satisfying ending than a show like Game of Thrones, which really um, I guess Lord of the Rings would be a better analogy I messed this up, I think yep oh my <laughs> But 
Yeah, the Lord of the Rings are a lot shorter, so. Ugh, kill me. This is my favorite game. <laughs> okay, how do you throw it again? Isn't it circle? <laughs> how do I not know how to play? I thought it was square. Okay. Now, throw it up there. Good throw. I think the reason why most people like TV shows um, is because and the reason why I, I like a TV show that I like is it's different. It, it, um, it, it, I guess it like it approaches something similar in a new way, which is what Game of Thrones did. Like it, it was a fantasy show. Um, but it wasn't for kids, and it wasn't. <clears throat> um, it got darker than most fantasy does. Like main characters die, and um, in kind of gruesome ways. So that's why <clears throat> people came to the show. And they liked it, and that's why I liked it. Um, but after five seasons of that, in order to for people to to keep people like the show because it's different. So if you don't, if you stay the same, then people won't like the show so you have to change but people liked this show because it was the way it was so how do you how do you change and also stay the same I don't know I'm saying it out loud it seems like something that I've heard a lot about just creating stuff and art and is like <clears throat> people just want I guess people want just a new version of of your like if you create an album and then people don't want you to do the same thing but they also don't want you to change too much I guess it's similar with TV shows I just don't I don't listen to a lot of music so I don't know how it works or I don't I don't know sometimes I think I don't like I don't like movies and TV shows even though that's all I do is watch movie and TV shows I think it is like very specific things and it doesn't have to be good for me to like it and it doesn't have to be bad for me to dislike it. It just depends on my taste and I guess just if I like the characters. Um, but I do, I do tend to like the stuff that most people like, like Star Wars and Game of Thrones. Um, what have I done? What have I done? Um, I was thinking earlier, it's interesting how um, when you're a kid, you kind of had bad taste in movies. Um, and then when you get older, you forget what I was thinking like like I like 
Jurassic Park a lot when I was a kid. But if it if I grew up and it turned out that that movie was actually terrible, um, I wouldn't. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that I liked when I was a kid that I that I don't like anymore. Dumb. I'm so dumb. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that sounds. That sounds so dumb. Dumb. I'm so dumb. I set that up by saying it was interesting, but oh, really? You stuff you like when you kid when you're a kid. You don't like now. That's really interesting. Good job. eyes closed. I'm sorry, Chico. Um, I started this game by saying it was one of my favorites. I still think that's the case, but it, I guess it's been hard to concentrate on the game when I've been talking. That's why when I do the, the Life is Strange things, I just don't really talk as much because I'm trying to concentrate and enjoy the game more. And I've been making the episodes for those longer. I think mostly because I just don't want to edit them. Watched the first two episodes of that um, Chernobyl show. I don't know. Everybody on Reddit was making a big deal about it. Um, I'm not sure really why. Um, I mean, I don't. I think it's good. I like it, but um, it's not the kind of thing that you would think people would go crazy about. It's just kind of an oops just kind of like a historical documentary fictionalized version <clears throat> um, it's weird that everybody's British I, that's kind of weird. oh I'm supposed to go down there thank you for telling me what to do I guess it's just funny that, like, um, American, it's just, it's not a common thing in America, I guess, because racism is, like, a big deal in America, so, it would be really weird to, if you had a, a history of, like, something that happened in Asia or... South America or something and then you just replaced everybody in that story with English American actors um, people wouldn't like that and probably for a good reason 
You're not supposed to jump there. Um, but in England, I guess everybody's white, so nobody really cares. <laughs> just re if they're Russian, just replace them with other white people. Um, in America, we would at least try to, we would at least give them accents. <laughs> if we made a show like that, and we had English actors, we would have them have accents. Like if we had, oh no. Um, like we have British people do American accents and American people do British accents all the time. But it's just weird that that show is just, it's about Russians or Ukraine or whatever. Oh. I forgot you could kill those guys. Um. Okay, now help me, Trico. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Oh. It's a good show. I only watched two episodes, but they don't do a lot of things that um, those kind of historical fiction shows do. Um, biopics and stuff like that. They make everything kind of cinematic or overly dramatic. Traumatize. What is that? How you say it? Dra Why does that sound wrong? They make things dramatic. That probably weren't very dramatic, um, and it's kind of just makes it kind of cheesy when you should be taking it seriously. finished that book and I was looking I've been looking for a new one to read or, or listen to <laughs> um, I guess I've been I, I want to read a book about Lincoln There's a book called Lincoln that I think I might read. Um, I don't know. He seems like a pretty important person, so. I've seen the movie a couple times, Lincoln, and I liked it. I like the way they. Um, he was portrayed in um, the decisions he made. Um, uh oh, Trico's freaking out. What's going on? Um, in that movie, I guess they made him a little flawed and interesting. He kind of was consumed with this, the whole like 13th Amendment thing and, and getting it passed. Um, and some people in Congress were like, um, 
we might be able to end this war peacefully, but we don't think we'll get the 13th Amendment passed. Um, but And Lincoln's like, we have to. We have to pass this amendment. Um, and then the people are like, even if it means thousands of people are going to die in this war, what if you could stop it? And then he had a reason for like, well, we need to pass the amendment. And I don't remember, so. I'll probably talk about it in the book. Okay, uh, I'll see you tomorrow.